hello friends, how's it going? It's Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, the American Campaign. Now as you can see, you know, I was at a minus, I was minus 4,000 or whatever it was. And so I had to sell off a couple of ships. And then I was going to sell this one off, but I had enough money to um, front load these two ships. And, um, and so I'll get rid of this one, um, but I did sell off its cannons and the two ships that I had, I sold off their cannons and I sold off, uh, 13, um, four pounder cannons that I got from land battles in order to give me enough money to do what I did and to bring the cost down uh, to my fleet by getting rid of two ships but you can still see I'm still minus 10,000 per turn so that's still pretty bad but the next battle is Battle of Turtle Gut Inlet and you know like um, even though I'm playing the easy campaign I'm still and it's scaling though I'll go with I'm a legend, but the problem with this, and it's not just me doing this part here. I think if I didn't even do this, because I ended up getting the Millsford, um, which was a third-rate Bellinona, I'm facing Bellinonas in every battle. I mean, it, it's, it, you know what I mean? Like, so anyways, <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a fire ship because... I think whenever I used to do this battle, I always had one fire ship anyway. And then I'll put my two Bellinonas in. But unfortunately, the game's going to scale up. So, um, because of the because of just having one Bellinona in my fleet now that I I ripped off the other um, Bellinona from the other battle, you know, I stole one of their their Bellinonas <laughs> and got out of that battle. But as you can see, we need to fight off these guys and so now I do have one fire ship and he's gonna go on full sail and we're gonna get uh, these guys to get going too so as you can see they have a first-rate Victoria class now or victory class whatever I mean a first rate now so now you know like 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 okay these are these are third rates right so why does the game scale up to a first rate I mean seriously now I can take a fire ship to take him out and then my two third rates should be able to take out those two third rates or do I use the fire ship to take one of these out and use my other two ships to try to get this you know um i can try i can try try two different things you know like send the fire ship or or maybe i can anchor anchor to get this one to get over here I need these two ships together we'll go a little faster so it's two strategies here like one is um, because they scaled up to a first rate I mean seriously how, how about a second rate but a, but a first rate I mean seriously so I could use this to take take it out um, or do I try to take the first rate with these two? Like, is it possible if I could get these to go at the same time? So, so yeah. So why don't I send her out? Because I want her to be the first one that hits. And then these guys. Okay. So I don't know, like, is it better to get rid of the first rate? 
Because then I know these guys can take out those two. And be happy with just those two as opposed to this. That's the question. I can take out either or. All right, let's pause for just a moment. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. So, oh man, I gotta see what. When I was going too fast, I wasn't able to do good with them. But, okay, so it appears that I'm going to have to has set this one on fire. So let me give this one the order. And I'll have to watch as this hits, then hit the fire. And And it's good that he tilts off this way. Because if he does catch us on fire... He'll go off this way and not into us. And so the chance is now, can I tell this ship to go here and get that ship and hit right there? And the same thing is you come on this way, you hit that ship. Maybe right there. And you board, but I don't know if it's gonna actually work out the way this is, so I gotta let this go at slow. Yeah, maybe I can do it with game speed at this. Okay, so let's do it that way. All right. Oh. All right, so he should be getting on fire. Where are you going? Okay, so now what we got to do... You know, I'm going to pause for just a moment because this might not work, but we're going to go to canister, and you can go to canister. And if I can get these four to get somewhere over here, because the problem we always have with a fire ship is that they can still shoot. So these guys might get killed, but my ships are already too full where I can't get them on there. Like, maybe, where's the 30 right here? Can the 30 get on? Yeah, the 30 can get on. So let's go ahead and have the 30 get on this ship. And this ship's got to an anchor. And you actually got to pull in here. And so there's two trains of thought on this. I could have put this on fire and have this big problem gone. And then an 800 Bellinona should take out an Ardent 500. So, um, and that might be the way to go. And this way, because that's the first ship that was on the right here. Then my guys that would be over here, I could send them off this way. So, so then they won't get killed. Because there's a good possibility one of these are going to get killed by a volley from the ship. But um, let's go with normal speed. So my question, like I said, you guys, come on. All right, well, then these guys can get on the ship then.
so yeah this might be come on get on get on this might be the way to go because I have both ships are boarding all right so I'm gonna have this one go over here yeah we have both ships boarding now so we should win this but it's gonna be very costly doing it this oh hey well why don't you get on this ship right here then all right All right, so it worked now. Can you get on get on this ship over here? He needs you guys. All right, well, actually, that worked. I mean, I didn't think it would. This is, this. I was going to be ready to redo this battle. Um, but that worked. I, don't, I can't believe that that worked. I mean, I, I don't think I could have done that any better, actually. Putting it at half speed helped out to like tell these guys to do something. And I still got 700 on this one, so I could possibly go over here and get that ship. And then I got these guys to, and then this one can turn. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to give myself kudos, but because um, generally on this type of battle, no matter what the difficulty, I think if you look at all my videos on medium or normal and hard, I would have to say I probably every time brought one fire ship. I would think I did. Like I'd have to go look at those videos like um to to make sure. But but you can see that this this battle scaled up to a a, a darn first rate. I mean I just can't believe it. So you know what I mean? We're early in the campaign. We're not far in the campaign. But anyways, you can see right here, this is a first-rate victory class. Okay? Like, unbelievable. That, that, that it scaled up to that. You know, just because I had, all I did was like two, what was it? Was it the Battle of Yarmouth where I got the Millsford? Right? That's, right and then the next battle i get i get another bellinone is in it and so i stole one in the in the wounded game battle or whatever and that's why i got two and now they throw a first rate at me i mean this is ridiculous i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying but anyways let's get her to get over here so she can shoot this one in the rear and I think I might have enough with just the victory, but if, if this one takes out a mass... All right, well, let's get going. I've been yakking too much, but I'm just excited that I got a first rate. I mean, I, I, mean, I just can't believe it. Like, I, I put the fire ship on that, that second... That, the second one over here, and I got all of the guys to live to get on the ships to help. So, I mean, I, I just cannot believe it all right well, i'm gonna put everybody back to round ball yeah and this one just totally blew up so now we just got to get everybody to get going this way yeah because look even with my ship shooting at this ship it didn't do any damage to it like he did damage to my ship so yeah i mean can you believe that i mean i just can't believe this but i i think what i need to do is get um victory to get over here and all we got to do is hope that he doesn't broadside us to where we lose one of these. Because I always tell you that the AI always uh, knocks out my mass way before I can knock theirs out. But yeah, I think, matter of fact, I, I think I actually have to need to turn them this one this way because um, the wind is this way and he's coming this way. And so we're going to need to go that way anyways. So let's, and we're only going to get that way to end up shooting at him anyway. So let's go ahead and target him right there. And I, I need you to turn, and I need you to turn. So yeah, I mean, I can't believe I got a first rate now. Unbelievable. So yeah, so that, that fire ship worked out perfectly. Because I could have used the fire ship on this, which is what I would normally do in a campaign. I would always take out their biggest ship. 
because that's the biggest threat. But I'm not scared of the Ardens because I have a Bellanonas. And, and there's two ways of doing this, but one is could I just uh, get to, bo to um, do him anyway? I don't know. Now Fall River I can put right here. Yeah, because he's going to actually try to turn to broadside me. Like, I might, I should be able, I might be able to just get him with the victory here. And of course, when uh, this one gets here, or thereabouts, and I can put him on canister. And I can tell him to shoot him right there. And we got the Orpheus, which she's on her way, so I can't believe I got, she got 110 guns, like, <laughs> wow, this is something else, okay, well, all right, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Now, I'm hoping that it's going to turn and... I can throw out the lines, or, or or is he gonna just go right into me? Then then you get over here. And Orpheus, get over here. All right now. Now you go this way. You go this way. Come on. Well, we had the numbers. All right. Well, you know what? Why can't I just tell both of these to come in here and get him? Come on. Yeah, we're going to take some uh, damage, but... I think once I get one of these to board, then I can get the other one to board. Oh, and he's going to play the game of making our ships overrun. Hey, I told him to I told him to anchor. Man. Okay, now you cut in on him. Cut in on him. And you were supposed to you know, anchor like over in this area, but he went way past that. So, okay, well then guess what? I can put this one right here and we'll, uh, we will sandwich him. Like I said, uh, these guys should be shooting with their muskets too, so it should help out. I, I think we'll sh we should be able to do this. Now, I'm losing my nose over here probably, but like what I really wanted was this one to line up with him and initiate boarding and then have this one come in and hit him. But he's the one that's wavering, not me. So, yeah, and okay. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, so short and sweet. All right. Well, folks, tell me how you think I did. Like, was that the right strategy of not using the fire ship to take out the first rate? Just take out one of those third rates? Because the guys that were on that ship were able to get on uh, the first ship that was boarding the first rate. And so that really helped out because if I didn't have those... By the time the second ship started to board, I might have lost my first ship. So by taking out the third rate on the left, and then having my guys get on the nearest ship that was boarding the first rate, that really worked out. Like, it worked out better than what I thought it would. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I could have done that any better when I was being faced with those kind of ships. I mean, look at this.
you know, they figure 18 against 19. But they had a first rate and two third rates. So let's go to goals. You have to eliminate the fleet. And and so here you, here you go. I, these these 68 gun, these ships here were Ardens. I'm going to wager the bet. And, but the Orpheus was a, was a first rate victory class. <laughs> and I had two Bellanonas and I had a fire ship, which was a, what was it, a, a six rate ship? So yeah, um, that was something else. And these guys say lost, but those are the guys that came off the fire ships. And um, there was four of them. I don't know why it only shows three. Maybe the fourth one didn't survive. That melee of the first rate. But these guys looks like they survived. So that's okay. And the goods. All right, so now I can sell off. I can sell the Kingfisher and try to get this. But adding that, does that... You know what I mean? Like, like I'm telling you, like it was just... It was just, let me, let me, keep, instead of just pausing here, let me, while I commentary, let me just get it going here. But um, what I was going to say is, okay, so let's go back to Yarmouth. Okay, I got it first repair. Let's go ahead and repair. All right, so I used one of those ships that I was going to sell when I was out of money, but I saved him to make a fire ship. All right, so Orpheus is just 30 to unlock him. All right, so we've got the Kingfisher. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Because this doesn't make, this makes no sense to me whatsoever. Why would the Orpheus, which is a first-rate victory class, why would it only give you 15... And you could buy it for 30. Where this Ardent, to buy it, you need 40 and it will give us 20. Does that make any sense to you? Well, it doesn't to me. Because I would think the Orpheus would be worth more than what a Kingfisher third rate is. That makes no sense, but I will take the 20. Right? Yeah, I mean, the Kingfisher is an ardent third rate. I mean, it's it's worse than a Bellinona. I mean, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm going to go ahead. I just don't want to make it. I want to click it once. Okay, there we go. And so now I can add this to my fleet. So now I have a first rate ship. Oh my gosh. But does that just mean the scaling is going to just go way out of bounds now? Like it's just going to get crazy now. I mean, because the point that I wanted to say while I did this was when I got this first Bellinola, the Milsford, I think it was, I'm, I'm thinking it was from Yarmouth, right? And then it's, and then I've had Bellinonas in every battle ever since. So that's how I got the victory, which I named it. So I have two. And now in this battle, they scaled up to this ship. Like, I, I, just, I just can't believe it. I, I just cannot believe it. So yeah, um, wow. I'm gonna have to process that. And why was it, why was an Ardent more costly than an than a Orpheus first-rate victory class? I, I, I don't really understand. And you can see what it default had. It had these Bloomfields, Bloomfields, Bloomfields. Yeah, it's all Bloomfields. You know, which weighs a lot, though. But yeah. 
Unbelievable. I mean, I, I have officers, the little, little, these ain't really great officers. But I have officers that are in the reserves, so we can at least do that. And, um, wow, I just, like, I am, I'm just shocked at, I'm just shocked that I, I have a, a first-rate ship right now. But it's going to, you know, like, just having one, one Bellinona scaled up su to such where I'm facing Bellinona, so I got another one. And now I have... Where, where is it? Oh yeah, over here. Yeah, and now I have a first rate, but I, I haven't f filled it yet. So, so that's that's amazing. And by putting the reserves that came off the ships and whatever else I had over here, I can get it up to optimal at 800. And I can also put on... Now, it's only going at 8 knots. So I can bump it up to 11. And I can put the what I like to have on here, sailing. And they got the junky gun, but this is just to get it up and running. That's all. So now I got the ship up and running. I mean, I could possibly put in. This is going to cost 20 grand. That's half the money that I got. So yeah, I, without putting any upgrades on it. I mean, that's how I get broke is by doing silly things like that. So, okay. So we got 45,000. I've got this ship up and running. And the, the victory already has a good a bit, like, I could go like that to get it to just that. And, and here we're already past optimal, so I have um, three ships that are already up and about, and we got this. And honestly, I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put one more in there. I think I'm going to try to max this out. Because, uh, you know, that way I can buy guns and stuff and it'll be cheaper. And when I sell stuff, I'll get the best prices. So that's what I think I'm going to do. And the next battle is this one. Oh, we need four ships. So, So I, I have this one, this one. Of course, they're going to scale up too, so it's going to be ridiculous. So, um, you know, I might, I'll have to see what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know exactly. Because if I put these, the, the, the Bellinonas along with the Victory, and if they scale up, and if I have to face first rates, then I'm going to be forced to uh, make one of these a fire ship. Or could I buy a ship over here? Yeah, we got plenty, so... For 15,000, I could buy this, because that's a six rate, and these ships are fifth rates. So I'd, I, instead of making a fifth rate of fire ship, um, I could just buy, because we've got plenty of these, and, and these ships are, 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 in my opinion, I mean, when you get down to these, they're cheaper. And you can still make a decent fire ship with these. So, you know, that's a cheaper cost. 
But you won't, don't want to do these because they're, they're slow. And then this guy, he gets shot once and he's done. So, so I think, yeah, I would probably buy one of these for 15,000. Put, put um, explosive barrels on it and whatever the amount of guys I can get on it. And um, that way I'd have one fire ship along with these three big ones. And that battle that I'll say without going into it is it's got a red zone. So, so we can fight a little bit. And if it gets too hard, we just go into the red zone. But because I'm going to have a victory and two uh, Bellinones along with a fire ship, I could possibly capture more ships you know what I mean like I like not knowing what what I'm gonna be facing because I will go with no peril no glory because I'm trying to earn as much as I can so yeah that's the that's the thought pattern so I think I'll just end it here So I hope you don't mind. Uh, I think we're we're almost ready. I just got to make one fire ship if I'm going to do that. But I'll have to decide on that. So as always, I like to hear your comments and stuff on how I'm doing and stuff and things like that. And anyways, no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, have a great evening, or have a great night. God bless to you in your own religion. Be kind to each other. Take care of yourself. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigo. And guess what? I'm happy I got a first-rate ship. <laughs>